Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. Hopefully better than I did last time. <laughs> but last time, we explored the sewers a little bit. And last time we ran into a lot of imps and some lobster. And the lobsters aren't played around, so I'm not going to play around either. Instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to go and get my sneak on. Yeah, so what am I not using? This, I, I think it's really neat. I'm not loving it though, so we're going to go to Unseen Form. Yeah, we're going to be using that to hopefully sneak past those lobsters. So by the way, here my stats level 130. There you go. We are just going to be using Night Comet to kill the imps. We are going to be using Unseen Form, hopefully to get past these lobsters, loot whatever it is they are hiding. And then we're just going to go from there. Deal? Deal. Okay. Here we go. These imps dealt with. Go past. Charge up. How? Dude, dude, I mean, please. <laughs> oh my gosh. And there's just so many. And there are just. Goose fra ba blue. Oh? I would say magic is failing me, but it's really just more collision detection is failing me. All right, here we go, here we go. Let's just rush, 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 rush. Hopefully that's not oh, out of distance. Beautiful, out of range is what I meant to say. Okay, so we are going to do some cotton. See an item behind that one. We're gonna have to get it. Even if these are just some some inevitable loss of uh, loss of life runs, we're gonna make this happen. All right, unseen form. He still he still sees me. Um. Yep, we're just gonna run. We got Smithing Stone, level seven times two. Whoa, 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 whoa. We have, what? I'm sorry, what did I just get? Moog's Shackle? If I read this description and it says that I can unbind those runes of blood he was placing on me, I might be a little, a little upset. Okay, it just briefly binds him. A fetish bathed in golden magic. Shackles were once bind to, excuse me, were once used to bind the accursed people called the Omen. And these ones were made to keep a particular Omen under strictest confinement. Though faint, the shackles still retain vestiges of power enough to trap the once bound Mog on earth, if only for a short time. So what I'm hearing is that would that would that would stun him. Is that right? I'm gonna try something. I'm just gonna try to run past everything. I mean, at this point, what have I got to lose? Uh, quite literally, nothing. There it is. And uh, yeah, some of the imps are dying, so that's kind of fun. Uh, yes, so using the soft cotton was correct in that um, it's the only way to not uh, to not actually take damage. Now, I do want to try and get this scarab, but this guy is just so fast. And he could... Oh, hey, Smithing Stone, level 7. Um, heal up. And then we're going to go, 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 go. I'm gonna roll just for funsies. And looks like we are now into some uh, catacombs. Interesting, and we're going up. All right, I like the idea of going up. So if I had come here first, I would have found it a little bit easier to kill Moog. Is that, is that what I'm hearing here, folks? 
that was a fully charged comet. Will you die with an uncharged? Yes, you will. Oh, but you just come back. Or... Or not. I don't... You are just coming back. Okay. Okay. Where's the illusory? Oh! Oh! Somebody snail! I, I actually hit the right wall. That's funny. Alright, got him. Halley Drake Talisman at level 1. Did I get Halley Drake level 2? No. Alright, so we did just get that. Just a plus 1, and you guys know how we feel about him by now, hopefully. Not a huge fan. I like that this just went right into a catacomb. That's pretty clever. Fun little level design. Just seeing where I am in relation to... Into relation to Landell. I hear walking around. Is this going to open up a heavy door somewhere? There's no statue behind it. Oh. Oh, hey, look at this. No. I mean, you realize you're s well, I don't know that I can do much to you either. Although, although, yes I can. Let's be obnoxious. <laughs> Where's my bow? Okay, so. 207. How about Mighty Shot? 308. You can't even hit me with that. 270. Let's try some different. Uh, do I need arrows? I do. Whoa. I do have serpent arrows. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Did I just miss him? 237. Oh, and he's already poisoned? I didn't think I'd be able to poison him well because, well, you know. I can also do poison bone. Do I have rot? I could try to put him to sleep. That would be interesting. Um, oh, let's do cold. Because then he takes bonus damage too. There, yeah, so the cold is now proc. Oh, of course, now he can hit me. Um, I'm gonna see if the, I can hit at all with that. Yeah, some. Oh, he's gonna hit me. I wonder how this will work. <laughs> I wonder if any of that will actually hit him. Yeah, actually, it did. That worked really well. That was funny. All right, what do we get? Shadow bait. Hey, remember the time I've also gotten some other items like uh, the Fever's Cookbook? Oh, I can make bewitching branches. We haven't tried those. This might be the perfect place to do that, actually. But we also just got a new, is that? What is that? Is it an incantation? Ah, oh, it's an incantation. Oh, create shadow that lures the aggression of foes of human build. Creates a pale gold shadow before the caster, luring foes of human build and attracting their aggression. I wonder if he counts, the, if the omen count as human build. It can, wow, now this is cool. It can be cast in motion or crouching and will still affect foes that are already in a combat state. It is said that those beguiled by the shadow see within it a hated foe. Only 13th Faith, we're trying that out, absolutely. We gotta come up with some really good, just, you know, kind of stealth assassin types. Oh, that's fun. Now we can still go back into the catacombs. But first, hopefully this actually kills us. I wasn't sure if it would since I don't have the, uh, yeah. It only, 
It only killed him because he wasn't aware. Alright, let's grab this. Wait, there's still another scarab somewhere. Is it up? Hmm. Because I killed the one that was down with the lobsters. Where's the other one? Alright, I want to go back to the catacomb and go that route. I'm actually pretty proud of that stairway strat. Yeah, I know he was stuck, but I like that I actually froze him and then used the uh, Falling Stars of Ruin. That was, that was kind of fun. Oh, Law of Causality. We also forgot that. My goodness. Law of Causal Causality was given to us by Sir Gideon retaliates upon receiving a number of blows. This was, what was this called in Dark Souls 1? Oh gosh. I can't remember the name. It had something to do with Velka, didn't it? Manifests a small ring of causality within that allows a caster to automatically retaliate, retaliate upon receiving a certain number of blows. Fundamentalists describe the golden order through the powers of regression and causality. So we have regression and causality. Regression is the pull of meaning that all things yearn eternally to converge. Causality is the pull between meanings. It is the connections that form the relationships of all things. I mean, that can be kind of fun depending on how much damage that can put out. thought there was more to this. I guess I was wrong. I'm going to try and get some freeze going on this guy. But you don't actually take a lot of damage. But if I can freeze you, you might. Oh, you're frozen. Okay. So. That's. Nope, nope. I want to switch. Can I hit you? No. That's decent damage, actually. Not great. And I don't know. You're still frozen. Got me. Yep, still better with the uh, Night Comet. Uh oh. Oh, come on. One more and he's dead. And then we can go explore a little. Good. We still have the one. We still have the one. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Do we want to try and kill him? We could go unseen, potentially. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay, two more smithing stone level sevens. Is that... That's it down here. Okay. Well, I don't know how long this is going to last for. Not long enough. Oh, actually. That worked. That worked. All right. Not not too not too mad about that. I thought yeah, there was another path. And there's a site of grace for the love of Jimmy Hoffa. Blue. <laughs> this whole time, really? Do we want to rest? Yes. Yes, we do. I'm just trying to think. Do we want to try out that incantation? Yeah, let's get rid of the cannon. And where is it? 
Where is it? Oh, right there. Shadow bait. So we do need to have a seal on, which is fine. I like having the bow. I like those frost, actually. That's really, really helpful. Come on now. Can't use the golden order seal. That's fine. Let's use the finger seal. I don't think the strength is going to matter at all. Oh. There is actually a heavy door here. What's vomiting? Oh, man. Just... Yep, yeah, you guys are gross. Gonna pass them for now. Do you want to go ahead and die? You got me. You, you win. You're horrific. Pretty good trade off right there. I like that. I like the freeze into magic. That's. That is useful. Now, speaking of freeze, though, will you freeze? Oh, gosh. out right now. What's happening? Uh, I don't want to waste freeze arrows on that, though. So we'll do regular old bone arrows. Where where am I? I should... Wait, you didn't uh, go down? Oh, you are dropping up way early. There we go. Is that the lever? I know I know you're all gonna come alive. I mean, I'm not dumb. This is a good chance to check. Oh my heavens it works. How long does it last? Not long. Answer is not long. But I think the key is that it works even in combat. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's why we like it. Just definitely feels like there's some illusory walls here. Do I need... No. Do I need to be up here to get that item? I don't think so, do I? I'm not sure. Anyway, let's keep moving. So, maybe that was it. Maybe the only reason you go there is just to get that glove wart level 8. I mean, it's a... It's a good item. So let's go this way. We can definitely use that to get up above. I also love that jumping actually has a small hitbox, so you don't have to break everything. Uh, this is suspicious. Like, this looks like an assassin is going to come after me. Does it not? I mean, I think when I fought with D against the assassin, this is exactly what happened, right? Okay.
Oh. Not sure why that didn't actually kill you, if I'm being honest. Because you weren't aware of me. Alright, anything hanging on the sides? No. Oh boy, we're going... <laughs> we are going down. This is like the catacomb to end all catacombs. Oh, and just a nice long empty hallway, huh? I always feel safe here. <laughs> That's why I'm crouching and walking. And yet, it was actually safe. And is... Oh, that's the lever. Okay. Right. Okay. And then... This is the first room, right? It's right over here? Yeah, there's the heavy door. I don't know if I've explored that catacomb fully. I'm gonna pretend I did. I don't even know what the name of this catacomb is because I can't check, but we're, just, we're gonna go in. I wonder, is it gonna be a humanoid? Um, Edgar, oh, you have dogs. I didn't even realize you have dogs. Cast, 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 cast. Um, what do? <laughs> Cast that. And we hope we get some dogs. Almost. I mean, I think I almost got the dogs, right? Oh, gosh. If I bleed, I'm in trouble. Okay, one dog. Whoa. Yeah, I have that stupid hood. I've been there, Edgar. If you're mad because of the headwear, take it all off. Alright, that'll be fine. That won't be a bad fight. I think I will actually cast the uh, Founding Reign of Stars or Founding Stars of Rain. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. And we'll just go uh, go there. So this is just called... Oh, there we go. Just Lanedale Catacombs. Sounds delightful. We might actually try. I think we'll try to kill the dogs first, and then we'll have a little fun with this fight. That's, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, I... Mm. I didn't actually mean to go right in it. Well, that went terribly because I, uh, yeah, I foolishly tried to charge up that comet over to me. All right, here's what we're gonna do, ready? Somehow that didn't work. <laughs> is, is anyone really surprised? All right. There we go. Oh, you're not dead! Doggy. What am I doing? I just cast up some night shards. <laughs> it's late. I've been recording for a while. Ugh. Wait a minute. Dad? Okay, it doesn't quite look like Silverius, but still. Maybe a distant relative. I like the idea of starting with this. That was fun. But then we need to go after those dogs. Like, right away. So we just go in, we cast this. All right. Okay, one dog. gonna put the hurt to you. 
magic style. This is where Silverius needs a theme song. I don't know if I have time to get a Terra Magic off, but we might try it. that from the Lord of Blood. <laughs> also, someone wanted me to take a look. I think it was uh, David Santiago wanted me to comment on the Erd tree, well, the roots, rather, absorbing these bodies. And yeah, I, I guess I've never actually commented on it, but considering these do seem to be very heavily related to the Erd tree, the Erd tree does seem to be feeding off of, I don't know, I wouldn't say it's necessarily flesh, but maybe life force, essence, souls. Yeah, some sort of parasitic creature in nature. So we got a new talisman. Whatever for. Blood loss in vicinity increases. To, I love these. I haven't used them yet, but I think they are just so cool. The idea that, you know, this attack power is raised when there's poison or rot. This is when there's blood loss. That's really cool. And look at the omen symbol. Render up your offerings of blood to your lord. Drench my consort's chamber, slake his cocoon's thirst. His awakening shall herald the dawn of our dynasty. I wish I'd come here first. I wish I'd come here first. There's a lot of cool flavor text in this. For sure. All right, so I'm, I think I'm done exploring the catacomb, but. But, but, but. There's definitely more to the sewers themselves, right? I don't know if there's a boss of the sewers, probably. But at the very least, we had some more areas with the imps. And that's that's what I'm going to do right now. Now, I'm not going to use my bow because we know that the bow is not very good against it. But what I am going to do is go the wrong way. I'm going to put on the Staff of Loss. I just want to see if we can push just, just a little bit. Okay, so we got that. Yep, I know. Die, thank you. Now we know from lessons learned. Get pretty close. Ah. There we go. A little unfortunate, but we'll make it work. I gotta find that scarab too. through and pick these all off. Oh, he got me. Okay. Where? I wonder if he's hanging. You know, I could drop down. I don't know if I want to drop down to that. I actually can't really drop down to that. I'm just trying to think, is he dangling below one of these pipes? I don't know where he's just, I don't know where he's hiding. Can I hit you? That's pretty far. We'll try it. Yes, we can. I do just want to keep taking them out as best I can. Wow. Pretty oblivious. What? What? Where? Gosh, they're everywhere. Give me that. Broad great sword. Uh-oh. Go. 
so actually, oh, I can't, I can't get where I thought I could. So is it all done through the catacombs? All I know is that I could have gotten to there, and that doesn't seemingly do me any good. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Okay, that scarab is really gonna bother me because it's so close. go this way. Right? No, this is useless. This is just a waste of time. <laughs> I wonder is the scarab inside of a pipe? That would be kind of funny. I mean, am I able to get in any of these? Lobster getting mad? Oh, the lobster. Can I can I use torrent down here? No. Not surprising. It sort of feels like it all has to be. I wait. Can I just jump up? I can just jump up here. Really and truly did not think I could do that. Didn't even test. Didn't even test. But this is just back into the catacomb. There's gonna be a scary guy here, don't forget. And that's back to the beginning. Hmm. It might just be through the catacomb, but something... Something tells me I'm just missing something here. Huh. But I don't know what. I don't know what. Unless I'm supposed to get up there from where the omen are. Is that it? Is that the case? I mean, it almost seems like it should be, like there should be an entrance just off to my left. I guess we'll go check. We're going to have to wrap up here any moment now. Oh, it's a door that doesn't open. That's what it is. It's just a door that doesn't open, so that won't... Ah. All right, all right. You are also ugly. Okay. do want to wrap up. I have to wrap up, but obviously it's through the catacombs somewhere, right? Because that's... This just returns me to the lobster. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, nope, just a kill plane. Okay, alright. Hey, kill plane. Got it. Say no more. This just brings me up to that area, though, so... But do we want to go down? Down doesn't seem to... I want to go up. All right, let's go back up. <laughs> we'll go up. We're going to look for a minute. If we don't figure it out, we're going to have to uh, just ditch the idea for now. I Maybe coming down here to get Moat Shackle is the primary reason you come here, which, you know... Great, yeah. If I still needed it... <laughs> dies with you. Beautiful. I mean, because coming up this way is about the only thing that makes sense. But that, all that did was open up that door. 
Yep. Yep, it's safe to say I'm missing something. Oh my. Right now what I'm missing is a lot of blood. Well. Now we're down back with the lobsters and the flies. And um, I can just fast travel out, which is probably what I'll do. Yeah, I'm not sure what else to do down here. There's obviously more loot, but I haven't seen the way forward. So I don't know if next time we're going to spend more time down here, if we're going to go back to the mountaintops. Um, but for now, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Hope you're still enjoying. And I'll see you next time. Even though I think I did this backwards. I should have been here already.